You've been playing the guitar for a few months now, and you can finally change smoothly between all your basic chords. You have one strumming pattern that gets you through the five songs that you know. You haven't mastered the art of singing and playing at the same time yet, but your teacher says you're doing great, and you can easily see an open mic night in your future. You head downtown to a party on a Friday night, and you step foot into a massive room jammed with people. The host knows that you play the guitar, so he hands you one and says, Hey, play something for us. What are you going to do? Are you going to cave under the pressure, or are you going to keep the good times rolling? Don't worry. In today's video, I'm going to show you four super simple chord shapes that are only two fingers, and they sound absolutely amazing. Everyone will be super impressed, and you'll keep the good times rolling for hours to come. Let's get into it. So basically, you only have four simple chord shapes. You have a major and minor shape based off of the low E string. Then you have a major and minor shape based off of the low A string. So for the low E string, the major shape looks like this. And that would represent a G major chord. Sounds absolutely amazing. And you have the minor shape that looks like this. And that shape would represent an F sharp minor chord. Now for the shape space off of the low A string, this is the major shape, and that would represent a C major chord. And this would be the minor shape, and that would represent a B minor chord. So these aren't actually chords. They're known as what's called an interval because they're only made up of two notes. And they're intervals of a tenth. So normally you would have an interval of a third, C, D, and E. So E would be a third away from C, but we want the E up the octave, which is a tenth away. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. That's an interval of a tenth, and that's why we call these tenths. They're found all over popular music, and they sound absolutely amazing and super easy to play. Now the beauty of these chords is you can slide them all over the neck and improvise with them, and you'll sound like an absolute pro. off the A string. So you might ask me, how do I know where to go? Well, these chords sound the best in the key of D. And in the key of D, you have the diatonic chords D major, E minor, F sharp minor, G major, a major, B minor, and C sharp minor. So I know all the notes along the low E string and the low A string, and you can check that out in my ebook. I'll link it down below. So I play the notes in the key of D along the string, and then I just match the major or minor with the diatonic chord in the scale. So I know F sharp is minor, so I play the minor shape. And G is major, so I play the major shape. A is major, I play the major shape. B is minor, so I play the minor shape. C sharp is minor, so I play the minor shape. And D is major. E is minor. F sharp. Then you can just basically improvise through all those chords. And for the A string, I know D is major, so use the major shape. E is minor, so use the minor shape. F sharp is minor, so use the minor shape. And G is major, and B minor. And you just slide it up and down, and you can strum all the strings, and it'll sound great, because it's in the key of D. Yeah, so just have fun with it and improvise. So these chord shapes are actually found in songs, so you're actually learning and developing your repertoire at the same time. For example, this major shape here is found in the song Scar Tissue by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And The World I Know by Collective Soul. And Tripping Billies by the Dave Matthews Band. Love 
Yourself by Justin Bieber. So there, you have something awesome to play when someone asks you. Check out this video. See you in the next one.